Senator Goulet, good morning to you. Do you share that view that it is possible that Marine Le Pen will benefit from the terrible events of last night? Yeah, I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it, and I share totally what I've been said before. And, uh, you know, this election is, is uh, unfortunately very unpredictable, and I think that we need uh, more fortune tellers than uh, political advisors. But um, really, it's a, it's a scary time. I, I share absolutely what I've been said, and, and, except and that I don't recognize my country, but it's okay. You don't recognize your country? Well, yeah. Um, if indeed that turns out to be the case, and she gets a great deal of support, more support than she needs, than she is getting at the moment. What will the people of France be saying? What will they want her, if she becomes president, what will they want her to expect her to do? No, I, I think that, uh, you know, we, we have a second round, of, uh, hopefully uh, she's not. She, she will be sure uh, one of the two uh, next week. But you don't think she, she can win, do you? No, I don't. Hmm. I, I, I don't. You know, um, she has not s such a lot of support, and then uh, we have a strong uh, Republican roots in this country, and I think that everybody um, uh, will join to to beat her. I'm sure. Of it. I All right, but so. if they put, if they do, if the people of France do put her through to to the final runoff, what is it they'll be expecting, wanting from her? Trying to get a sense of the mood in France at the moment. The mood is first uh, that the people dislike the politician very much, and uh, there is a big, big mistrust. Mm. And she is the one who never touched the power, in fact, despite the fact that she is in the business, and she has been in the business for so many years, her and her father. Um, she never ran, in fact. I mean, she never lead the country. So she looks brand new. And, and she's sort of painting herself as an anti-politician. Well, but she's, she's in the middle of the system. Indeed. Okay, so, uh, but you know, but the, the people, they, they want to believe that, and all the people who are running now for election, except Macron, have been in the business for more than 30 years, anyway. So, it, yeah. It, I was going to ask, is, is France a frightened country as we speak? Well, I don't think so. I think that we have to get used to live with the threat. Uh, from terrorism, we have been working on it for the last three years and even before um, Charlie. So, uh, but now it, it's, a, it's a new fact you have this kind of uh, uh, neighborhood terrorism. You know, the people they just come with a gun and shoot. And yesterday, some policemen were targeted. And, uh, and the day before, it was something else. And, and we have to get used. But what you have to see, and it's, a, it's a maybe less dark. Uh, besides that, what I've been saying before by, by your journalists in Paris is that, first of all, you have to, to realize that the policemen and all the people react very, very quickly. It means that we learn since Bataclan. And, uh, and then the communication is also much, much better. And then we, are on, we keep the state of emergency which is very important. A lot of people wanted to eat to be left, but it, it's done stick. And we, we are still under a state of emergency, which means that our policemen have a lot of tools, more tools. And then the, the sharing of intelligence is now much better. So... Sorry, so you're going to finish your, your point, so... No, I think it, it, it's better, but it's just uh, the international uh, situation, which is not. And then, even when we, we win on the field in Iraq and Syria, um, we, we, we are not able to to win on the ideologic side for those uh, jihadists and all the fighters, you know. That is the long battle, isn't it? Senator Goulet, thank you very much.